Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. Today we're talking about my monthly beauty favorites from the month of June. Time is flying by quickly. Anyway, before we go any further, let's take a second to grab our iced coffee or hot coffee. Let's take a sip and let's get started. Okay, so this month my selection of beauty favorites is a little bit eclectic. I have a handful of makeup products, but I also have like general beauty. I have perfume, skincare, and also a little bit of fashion as well. Let's start off with beauty or makeup, I should say. The first item here is a mascara. This is not super new. I think it came out this year or at the end of last year. This is the YSL Lash Clash Mascara. I'm wearing it today. It is a very extreme volumizing mascara. It's pretty big, like the wand is fat, the tube is fat. It's just very voluminous, voluptuous, and substantial. And it's a great mascara. It just gives you lots of volume. It gives you a fake lash effect with a black mascara. However, I saw online that they're coming out with a blue one and I'm super excited because I love blue. I love blue eyes and they're coming out with a blue mascara version of this so just imagine like all these lashes but like an indigo blue i'm very excited to see that i don't know when that's coming out i just saw someone using it and i was like ooh, ooh, very excited about that uh moving on to a complexion product here this is the chanel Le beige healthy glow sheer liquid it's a liquid highlighter in Sunkist. This is not new. It came out a few years ago, part of a Le Beige collection. I think it came out two years ago, something like that. Anyway, it's a liquid highlighter and you can use it as a highlighter or you can use it as a primer. It's very fluid, very runny like this. And then you can just blend it into your entire face to give you the most beautiful JLo bronzed glow. I love it. I love it so much. I've been using it just as a straight primer for days, weeks. I mean, why not? Why? Like it's a liquid highlighter, but I'm not wearing that today. I'm wearing the new number one Camellia primer. I'm wearing two of them actually. You should go ahead and watch that video. But this here is gorgeous. I love it. It's just it's very easy to use and quite frankly there's so much product here this is a liquid highlighter and there's just so much to use up it's going to last me a lifetime and sometimes you just want like a gorgeous lit from within glow next up is a bronzer and this came out a couple of months ago this is the hermes plein air h trio bronzer so this is a harmony of color if you look closely into the embossing it's actually a blend of color and this is the shade 02 atlas i find that the shade is just so impeccable i find that a lot of hermes makeup i have experience with the lipsticks the blushes and now this bronzer here the powder is just very finely milled and i mean i don't even know if you can see much of the swatch here you can see something but it's just, it's very light. It feels very velvety, very silky when you apply it. It sort of melts into the skin, even though it's a powder. It's just a very, very soft, beautiful bronzer. I just realized that I forgot to apply some earlier. So I'm just going to go ahead and tap some onto my face right now with you, just to show you. Like it just gives you that beautiful sun-kissed finish without looking orange or looking fake and I find that it works well with all of my makeup like all the different brands that I own it's very pretty and very extra so why not okay next up is a perfume and this is the new Dior Riviera perfume this came out for the summer release part of their Riviera Eden Rock collection this is a unisex fragrance all perfume is unisex. Let me just spritz on a little bit more. It's technically an eau de parfum, but it's actually quite light. And this is the first perfume for the for the brand by Francis Kirkjian. He is the new nose for Dior. And so this is his first, well, actually, I think he has created perfumes for the brand in the past, but as the official nose, this is his first creation. It's light. It's very much a summer fragrance. This is supposed to embody the spirit, the scent of 
Paris and the Riviera, like, you know, traveling back and forth from Paris to the Riviera. It's supposed to be wearable in both of those cities. And I can see that. It's a, I think it's like a really hot day in Paris or a super hot day on the Riviera or the Mediterranean. This on me smells like figs. It smells like, okay, picture it. Uh, on the seaside, on a cliff, you have a fig tree. It's a super hot, humid day. You get a nice breeze and the breeze is going through the fig tree. That's what I get. That's what it smells like on me. It's great. It smells sweet, but like a fruity sweet, not a syrupy, sugary sweet. So for the summer, I think this is a must have. I've been wearing it a lot all summer. Next up is our skincare contingency here. So I have a few products. First off is a product that I, I think I mentioned last month and I'm mentioning it again because I'm still obsessed with it. This is the Clé de Peau SPF sunscreen in 50. Now, I love this so much that I went ahead and purchased my own. They sent me the first one for free and then I went and bought my own. That's how much I love it. So this is a face sunscreen and the reason I love it so much is the texture. The texture feels and absorbs like a gel moisturizer. It melts into the skin. And when I tell you it melts, it melts. It doesn't pill, it doesn't feel greasy, it doesn't feel heavy, it doesn't have like that classic sunscreen scent. And it just, it melts in like if it was a super lightweight gel moisturizer. So if you're someone who likes to wear makeup, I suspect you are if you're watching this, this is an excellent sunscreen to wear underneath. It never causes pilling or rolling. It just absorbs super quickly into my face, into my neck, décolleté area. It's wonderful. It feels luxurious. It's really the texture. I've noticed as I've been exploring more very expensive skincare brands, it's not only the performance. Yes, the performance is there, but it's often the, the sensorial texture that really hooks me and keeps me sucked in because it just feels different than other products. It feels nicer, it feels more luxurious, and I find that it just plays well with all the makeup that I wear. So yeah, I have this one and then I have another one that I'm ready to crack open in a matter of days. Next up, so speaking on the issue of like pilling or rolling, because I do wear a lot of makeup and sunscreen, I have a lot of products on my face. Sometimes I feel like I get like a buildup of gunk or dead skin cells, you know, and then you go to put on your makeup and you can feel it. You can see like rolling. Isn't that like the worst ever? I hate that so much. I've been using this product here from Drunk Elephant. This is the Frambus Glycolic Night Serum. So this has an AHA blend. It has raspberry extract too. Oftentimes companies will use fruit extract, fruit enzymes, because they actually exfoliate in a very soft, but effective way. So this is a nighttime serum. I'll show you this. It twists up. It's just a clear jelly texture. It's jelly, but it also runs a little bit. This gets rid of all that buildup, that pilling, that debris and gunk and layers of whatever that I'm wearing. I find that it just like gently, but um, efficiently gets rid of everything. So you wear this at night. In the morning, you have to wear a sunscreen because it can make your skin photosensitive. It also helps to unclog pores and get rid of excess sebum. So sometimes when I wear this at night, in the morning I'll wake up and I'll have like a little zit that's ready to be popped and extracted because the enzymes and everything in there, the AHAs and BHAs, sort of just loosen up the dead skin and just unclogs the pores. So it's just nice to do this every now and then. I don't know how often I'm supposed to use this. I don't think I use it as often as they say I should, but I like to use it every now and then, maybe once a week, every other week. I can sort of feel when my skin is getting built up and then I'm like, hmm, it's time for me to use this. Next up is another sunscreen here, and this is from Sunbum, and this is actually a face mist. So this is a spray sunscreen for the face that you can in fact wear over top of makeup. I'll show you. I'm wearing a pretty full face of makeup today. Let me give it a good shake. It's an SPF of 40, so I'll go ahead and show you. I keep my eyes closed for a few seconds just to make sure I don't get sunscreen in my eyes. That's the worst feeling ever. 
it has a slight scent, a scent of banana and coconut. It has a little bit of a tropical scent. I love it and it's great because I do try to reapply sunscreen every day, especially when I go out for my hot girl summer walks, but it's a little bit difficult or daunting sometimes when you have a full face of makeup. I have the IS Clinical Powder Sunscreen, but sometimes I want a little bit more of a luminous glow. This gives me that enhanced luminous glow and it wears beautifully on top of makeup. Look, no running, nothing's flaking off, everything looks great. So if you want a sunscreen over top of your makeup, might I recommend a sun bum? Hi, it's me from the future. There's something else that I wanted to add here that I totally forgot about. There are three new nail polishes from Chanel that I loved. I wore these for seven days, seven days, zero 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 chipping perfect like this video here the three shades were 125 muse 129 avni and then 131 cavalier seul so yeah seven days perfect manicure next up is actually my facialist so in january i went to barbados and when i came back my skin basically exploded in dryness and dead skin and just awfulness and so i needed uh, a good facialist and i discovered despina at poesie and her spa it's very small it's just her she has like her she's kind of like me she's a one woman band doing everything and her spa is very zen very inclusive like her spa feels like doing some sort of meditative retreat it's very chill very cocooning very relaxed and so if you're here in Montreal, I recommend checking out Poesie and Despina because I love her facials. I get the advanced facials. I've been enjoying the Microderm Abrasion. It's just a bit more of an intense exfoliation. Don't do these types of serums at the same time. But I did a series of them and I do think that it helped me with the... I just had so much dead skin in winter. Just like tons of flaking everywhere. So that was really nice and very therapeutic and i can't wait to go back and then the last part of our favorites video for summer for june linen i love linen linen shirts i'm wearing one today this one here is from everlane and listen a linen shirt we're not you know reinventing the wheel here but in summer linen is great i own this in two colors so far i'm thinking of getting more i have this in classic white and then I also have it in blue. The, the blue is beautiful because it adds a bit more color to my wardrobe, but that being said, I love white in summer. It makes me look so tan, even though I'm not actually getting a tan. And this is actually full length, but I just roll it up to the elbows like this. And even though it's like a little bit longer sleeve, it's linen. So it breathes, it feels light, it looks so elegant with jeans, with shorts with anything you can wear with anything you want and so yeah so far i have the white and the blue they don't have that many colors available well they have some greens they have some olive greens they also have some striped ones they also have black i feel like a black linen shirt looks very nice as well anyway i've been wearing them and it's something that i've been doing recently i've just noticed that like if i find like a certain shirt or a certain style that i like i just get like the same shirt in every color so let me know if you do the same thing anyway i think that's it for my monthly roundup of favorite beauty products my selection was a bit eclectic a bit of makeup perfume skincare fashion spa a little bit of everything i hope you enjoyed it if you're new to my channel i talk a lot about luxury beauty and i focus a lot on french brands so i hope you take the time to subscribe because i also typically do a lot of tutorials and get ready with me where i mix and match a lot of new and old and sort of show you multiple ways to use up the products you already own anyway that's all i have for you guys for today thank you so much for stopping by hope you have a beautiful day and i'll see you next time bye